I'm the calculus professor and today we'll be talking about U substitution. In problem number 33, I'd like to use substitution to integrate the integral of x over the square root of x minus 4 dx. All right, this integration problem is just slightly trickier than uh, the previous problems we've talked about uh, because the substitution is not quite as clear and we just have to do one other step to make this thing work. So let me show you what I mean. I think that there's a clear choice for our u here. Is there a function within a function? Yes, there is. There's an x minus 4 inside of a square root. So I think u equals x minus 4 is the obvious choice for our u substitution. So let's write that down. So u is equal to x minus 4. Now, when we say du and ask what's the derivative of u, we get 1 dx, or du is just dx. Well, there's a problem here, because if I substitute a u for an x minus 4, I get a u down here, and if I substitute a du for a dx, I get a du right here, but I still have this x hanging out on top, and I haven't substituted for the x at all. That's extremely bad. You have to replace all x's with u's. You can't just have lone x's hanging around. When you make a substitution, all the x's need to ch change into u's. So to do that, I can just do something quite simple. I need to know what x is, and it needs to be in terms of u's. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to look at this guy, and I say, okay, u is equal to x minus 4 but I could just as easily solve this thing for x. And if I do, I just move the 4 to the other side, and I get that u plus 4 equals x. So this is the key, that extra x that's hanging out. I can just replace it by a u plus 4, and everything's fine. Let's do it. So over here, I'll rewrite this thing. This is the integral of, on top I have x, and I just said that that x is actually a u plus 4. So I'll rewrite it as a u plus 4. And on the bottom, I have the square root of x minus 4, but x minus 4 is u. x minus 4 is u. And then I know that dx changes into du. So now I've rewritten my integral completely in terms of u, and uh, I have no x's left, which is exactly what I want. Okay, so now we can simplify this a little bit before taking its antiderivative. It's not super clear right now, but I think if we break this up into two different fractions, it's much easier. So let's do that. I'll move over here real quick. So I want to rewrite this as the integral of, this is u over the square root of u, u over the square root of u, plus 4 over the square root of u, du. But again, I could break that up uh, even further. I could simplify it a little more. This is u over the square root of u is just the square root of u. So this is integral of the square root of u. And then this is plus 4 over square root of u. And if you prefer, that's 4u to the minus 1 half du. All right, let's take an antiderivative. Uh, antiderivative of u to the 1 half power is u to the 3 halves power divided by 3 halves, but dividing by 3 halves is the same as multiplying by 2 thirds. So I have 2 thirds u to the 3 halves power. Then I need to take an antiderivative of 4u to the negative 1 half, which would be 
4, and then u would be raised to 1 half power, and I would need to divide by 1 half, which is the same as multiplying by 2 plus our constant of integration. Okay, so now I've taken my antiderivative, and all that's left to be done is substitute back in for the u's. And I know that u is x minus 4. So I'm just going to replace all u's here by x minus 4's, and I get 2 thirds uh, x minus 4 to the 3 halves plus 8 uh, times x minus 4 to the 1 half plus c. And we have our antiderivative. 